Oh yeah. Shirt came in, boys and girls. Looking stylish. I freaking love this shirt. I, <laughs> I, you know, I had to after that last episode. I legitimately actually looked it up during the actual episode reaction. And I had to buy it, y'all. What can I say? Anyway, what's going on, y'all? It is I, some Joe Schmo. We are here with another psych reaction to Season 7, Episode 13, titled Nip and Suck It. There was something, I had to clarify something, right? Because uh, uh, I watch The League a lot. Uh, the League, one of my favorite shows. Uh, I think I've watched The League probably like three or four times in a row. Uh, or just have, not in a row, like consecutively. But I've seen it through like three times all the way through. Um, and I know Ruxin does the suck it. Or at least all the members of The League do suck it. So where did that, like, I, I did a show just start it? Or was it just because it was that, was suck it just that popular? I mean, I come from the days of like wrestling, uh, Degeneration X, suck it. So I don't know if this is like a continuance trend that happened in like, the mid 2010s or what but i love it uh either way obviously the name of the title or the title of the episode nip and suck it nip and tuck uh snip and tuck nip and tuck it's like that's like a reality show or not a reality show it's like a tv show based off of uh cosmetic surgeries and shit or cos cosmetics in general or uh, uh um plastic surgery and whatnot i thought it was a show it's probably a reality show nowadays. I don't keep up a lot with reality TV, but uh, I don't know if Nip and Tuck uh, is a, like, detective show or if it's a comedy or thriller show. So I'm not really sure exactly what to expect out of this one. But either way, y'all, let's do it. On a side note, I feel like I relate to this episode because I'm going to relate to you guys. I've actually had plastic surgery before. I'd like to know what you guys think I've had done because I think none of you are going to guess it. I will obviously reply to any comments about uh my plastic surgery but maybe in the next like reaction i'll tell you what i've done or what i've had done and whatnot but i don't know if you guys will uh will be able to guess it i know obviously my brother who watches these will know but still semantics aside guys i do psych reactions here every single wednesday and saturday so we are at the tail end here of season uh seven about two more episodes left because with um peacock obviously they had psyched the musical be the last two so Traditionally 16, but now we're only going to 14 with this episode or with this season. So one more after this left in season 14. And then we got one more season left. Oh, what am I doing with my life? <sighs> well, let's go ahead and jump into this reaction. Once again, season seven, episode 13, Nip and Suck It! Keep our eyes peeled for a ruddy turnstone or maybe a wandering tattler. Are they bird watching? What the hell? Oh my. Quiet, we may be treated to its song. Bird watching is so dumb. <laughs> right on cue. Phone, I'm not sure. Is the lyrics of that I'm Mr. Booty Man? I like to move it, move it. Oh, someone's, ooh, dude, clever girl using that leaf as a, uh, to not get fingerprints on it. I love that he's using T's to uh, mark the like locations of everything. Someone dragged a body, maybe? Oh, hello! Oh, that bracelet just sitting there, and I knew, oh, I knew something was up. <laughs> That's them detective skills, bro. <laughs> Your dad doesn't realize that he's retired, right? Yeah, but he had a tough year. I mean, come on, he got shot. Indulge him. Dude, Henry's a pro! What are you talking about, Sean? He taught you everything he knows. Or he taught you everything you know. I guess, semantics. Wait, is he even allowed to be here? I thought he's no longer a liaison. Good game. <laughs> Ed, I would place her at about 27 years of age. I'm gonna say more like 47. Yeah, the hands. Shelly Aronson, widowed, wealthy, lived on her own. Here's the toxicology. Oh yeah, so she probably got a bunch of plastic surgery done, made her look. This looks nothing like her. No, is that the same person? Uh, duh. This is Dr. Joan Diamond's work. I know it anywhere. I saw her speak at a symposium of forensic artists. There, there was enough <laughs> botulism toxin here to de-wrinkle all the Sharpays in China. Botulism? Oh, just it kidding. <laughs> Woody's not hitting at all. Oh, good. Perhaps she can make me look both youthful <laughs> and astonished. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was just gonna comment on like, did he put a uh, X on his chin to get a butt chin? Not that I have anything against butt chins. Mr. Spencer, you've listed your emergency contact as Val Dude, Kilmer. this, Lori oh, Laughlin. Lo oh. Lori Laughlin. Uh, uh, with everything she's done aside, beautiful woman. Full House, my jam. I used to get down with Full House and Becky back in the day. 
amazing. Uh, now, a little bit more of a scumbag with everything that went down with the whole college thing, right? I get it, but uh, and we can't judge her in this episode based on what will happen in the future, right? It hasn't even happened yet. But you can tell Val I'll be his huckleberry. Ha, I'll be your huckleberry. Dude. Ooh, ooh. Oh, damn, that's dope. Do this. Yo, that's like an MMO, choose your, uh, <laughs> what does your character look like? She's married to some dude named Brad Turner. Really? Well, that must be a recent development because get this, Shelly filed a lawsuit against Dr. Diamond before she died. Having fun, boys? Wow, look at you, Lori Laughlin, huh? I take it you're here to address your lobe issues. My what? Your earlobes. Holy. There's a slight bulbousness. I offer- <laughs> Thanks, Doc. <laughs> Appreciate the bedside manner. So that's how it works, huh, Dr. Diamond? Just make people feel self-conscious and then slice them up? I don't make people do anything. Oh, wait, that's not right. true. I'm about to make you disappear. Oh, damn. Yo, who's shitting your cereal? Detective Sean Spencer, and I am sensing that Shelly Aronson was suing the hell out of you. This is neither the time nor the place, Mr. Spencer. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yeah. You don't want to address shit, but you'll just definitely upsell me on earlobe surgery. How about here? And now. Dad. Oh, Henry on the... Wait, she knows him? Henry used to look great. Don't, don't lie to him. Dad, what do you... Used to? How dare you? Shelly was suing you, and rather than take a hit to your sparkling <laughs> reputation, you whacked her with an industrial dose of face freezer. So, in the story, God. you must have been adopted. Wow, ba dude, Aunt Becky, she's coming on hostile. She's a little half baked. Of course it is. Most of my theories are. <laughs> some of them aren't even baked at all. Some of them are just dough. Some of them aren't <laughs> yeah. even dough. Yeah, we don't even have the ingredients for some of them. I love that. Like, Henry's like trying to get back in now to like. I mean, it's like one of those things, right? It's like, it just doesn't go away. Turner, I think I know where to find him. All right, let's get this husband now. Yeah, Brad Turner, the most generic name. He's like an F. Shelley's age. I better get the girl. <laughs> That's the only thing he's concerned about. Yeah, just don't look up, Gus. Wow, you, you won't intense? be disappointed. Oh, I feel, dude, I could never, I've never had a like massage myself. Baby wiener. Did my man just say your fingers are like ba magical baby wieners? It, I always get really apprehensive about just masseuses, like touching my back and fucking up my back. Uh, people just touching, touching me and touching you, touching me. Oh. <sighs> I'm psychic detective Sean Spencer. It's my brother Daryl and my other brother Daryl. You tell us what I thought he was gonna uh, pull the robe off and there's gonna be no clothes. I kept telling her her beauty came from within, from within her bank account. Oh, he's yeah, was he married for two weeks? Rich widow? I think it's a little odd that you're here <laughs> working the day after she was killed. Look. Yeah, yeah, you can stop touching Gus. I'm in pain here. Ow, ow. Yeah, you're not the only one. He signed a prenup, okay? One that I asked for. This is my nightmare, right here. My back feels better though, weird. What you're doing is weird. <laughs> yeah, this awkward gyrating motion. She met someone for coffee at Truffles Cafe. Truffles Cafe. This case is taking us all over the town, huh? Don't tell me, is Henry already gonna be here? When's the last time you spoke with Rachel? 16 days. Oh my God. Rachel, I, I thought you said you were just going, yeah, 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 issues with your visa and stuff, but you couldn't like, just like call? What's up, dog star? <laughs> Look at this hipster. This woman come in here recently? She was with someone who looked just like her. Twin sister or cyborg made in her image. Oh shit, that'd be dope, yeah. Can we go, can we go with the cyborg direction? It's definitely Shelly. Wow, they do look alike. That is one hot robot. <laughs> I just got that. That is one hot robot. <laughs> this goon, dude. Brianna Hicks. Oh, damn. Shelly's a thief, Gus. Yeah, she's stealing people's body part. Well, schnoz of Brianna Hicks. Brianna Hicks killed her for it. Would it be? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't believe you let Dr. Jones get in your head like this. <laughs> I mean, hey, there is one way of hiding earlobes is uh, with a beanie, yeah. Though hats, though, will accentuate them. Oh, shit. What are you doing here, and how are you one step ahead of us? Well, let's see. Maybe because the private detective on the case was two steps ahead of you, the one that Dr. Diamond hired. She hired Henry to find- Let me get this straight. Joan actually hired you. What, you think that's crazy? No, not if her goal was to make a crazy decision. <laughs> yeah, she's on point then at that point. I was getting liposuction. Okay. Can you prove it? Sure. Oh. oh. 
There's no way that she grabbed Shelly's. <laughs> All right, then. But I'm just saying, like, if she has a... So if you have, like, a stomach scar, there's no way you're lifting somebody, right? Because isn't liposuction, like, you have to, like, make an incision? You're not getting up anytime soon. And you still have a thing for Joan, who, I admit, still keeps it tight and nice. It's pretty rocking, yeah. She's <laughs> I was doing this while you were still pointing at the potty saying, ooh, look at what a big boy I am. He still does that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta come see this turd. Can I ask you a question? What happened that night? Oh. It was a pretty decent date, Henry. Oh, I scared you away, didn't I? No. I was coming out of a divorce, and I think focusing on being a better dad to my son was... Oh, shit. That's brilliant. This list. There is one guy who's always had it out for me. Here's his address. If you want to check him out. Yeah, come on, let's see it. Eh. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Dude, I feel you, man. I, I, I have the writing of a fifth grader. Chicken scratch. That's all I know. Turning into that lot. Let's see what the old fart has up its sleeve. Great. What? We just tilled your dad to his ass. He's just taking a nap? Unless it's a stakeout. A good old stakeout. Mm. Holy shit, that looks delicious. <laughs> what a bunch of nerds. Yeah, I think that was a collective suck it. Uh, a future with a toilet? Excuse me. Uh, hi, Joan. You think you can give me that address again? Yeah, I'm pursuing a, a, an active suspect. Yo, I don't care. There's no amount of trying to like replicate Henry's voice. That is such a distinguishable voice. What took you so long, daddy boy? <laughs> I love these games. I love these little games. Shelly may have been seeing another plastic surgeon, Dr. Ted Lomax. I know that this is one of his new tox parties. What the hell is a new tox party? Are they just all injecting each other with Botox? Totally. Gonna hurt a bit. It's just a little prick. I've never had Botox done. I I'm. I've seen so many horror stories of like Botox gone wrong. I don't think I could ever do that. Plus, my face, dude. You'll never even think this is a 35 year old. I think I look pretty good for a 30. I'm feeling insecure. This episode is making me insecure myself. Is our Dr. Ted Lomax? That Dr. Lomax. I was gonna say that guy from the back kind of looked like Jordan Peterson. <laughs> Shelly Aronson, over a patient of yours. It's just one of the subjects. <laughs> do my little seem abnormal to you? No, but. You should do something about that large forehead creep. Oh, man. This is why I, I kind of sometimes appreciate plastic surgeons for what they're capable of doing, like, you know, giving people the body that they have always wanted. Um, you know, huge advocate of any sort of plastic surgery. But then you get people like this on the spectrum where it's like they say these things to, like, make you feel insecure about yourself, and then in turn you want to get surgery done to, like, you know what I mean? Like, mm, I don't know, man. I don't know. I used to treat Shelly. Her murder was a terrible tragedy. You know what I'm Oh, yeah, 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 right? You're smiling while you're like, what a tragedy. Oh, man. I-9 form? Isn't that for taxes? Hello. You work for Dr. Lomax, yes? Um, oh, I'm okay, that was her, yeah. Statistician? Sean Spencer. Yo, I once dated an esthetician. Uh, tried to give me, like, some eyebrow stuff or, like, uh, um... What is it? Uh, 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 they, they do the eyebrows or whatever. Shit fucking hurt, dog. Shit was fucked up. For someone named Joan. Wow. That's amazing. I start there tomorrow. Oh, that's why she was filling out an I-9 form. I was like, why are you filling out an I-9 form to get plastic surgery done? <laughs> I was over there bringing beauty products two days ago. Oh, what a coincidence. Look, I would never want to hurt someone. I'm just a nice farm girl from Bismarck. In Slovenia. Bismarck, what? North Dakota. <laughs> My point is this. I, I get it, man. It's always confusing when it's like two different names of like the United States and then somewhere else there's uh, other names. Lomax definitely killed her. Although I'm going to presume they didn't mean to. He's a hack. Take a look at these two diplomas here, Sean. Tell me if you see something. Oh, that's what he was looking at. I thought he was staring at him. <laughs> what was that? Oh, crap. Same watermark. <laughs> so they're fakes. Oh. So he doesn't have a license to do any of this, but he brings people happiness. This guy's not a real doctor. Photocopied what? Although he's an authorized <laughs> dishwasher salesman. Wait, he's not licensed to get- <laughs> Did he get Botox done? <laughs> an appliance salesman and check my face, Sean. All right, wax works, party show. Dude, Gus's facial expression. It's gotta be the most funniest thing I've seen in this show so far. <laughs> Oh, 
That was probably one of the funniest moments in this uh, in this show, man. What are you doing here? She's like, thanks for getting me Aren't off. Are you going to invite um, me in? Uh, uh, off of murder charges is what I meant to say. Okay. I guess this isn't purely a business, thank you. It isn't. So here's my offer. You want a shot at that second date? Your time is now. That's an all clear. You're good for a landing. Come on in, Henry. <laughs> Yo, my two guys, Gus and Henry, are cleaning up, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, what's in the purse? She's gonna find something. Find some. <gasps> Is that a syringe? Wait, was she gonna inject him? New talks. Mmm. Oh, Henry, raw. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I used to love doing that when people were like, oh, hey, take a. a, a, a Picture of us, just put on that selfie mode and just take pictures of yourself while you're trying to take pictures. What's that? Why don't you tell me? It, it, someone must have planned. Does that ruin day two then? Yeah, hi, this is Henry Spencer. Could you no. Could you Detective Lassiter? Oh shit, she's gonna no. wallop him? No. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what innocent people do, huh? <laughs> Dude, is he gonna be us the rest of the episode? Traces the victim's blood in the needle. And we pulled one of Diamond's prints off the plunger. Mm. Sorry, Henry. I hate to say I told you so, Dad, but, uh... Come on, Pop. Don't be so hard on yourself. So you took a good bass whooping. You got your halibut kicked. <laughs> <laughs> you can't laugh. <laughs> your halibut kicked. You win, kid. This print from Dr. Joan is an index finger. Shouldn't it be a thumbprint? Totally. Wait, what did he get a... Doctor? Presses the plunger of a syringe with their index finger. <laughs> Just push it in. <laughs> Maybe install a thumb onto your index finger. Besides, I barely put anything in you. You sure this isn't psychosomatic? I've seen that response in many oh, of my patients. Oh, shit. I'm sensing that you- Does his face- <laughs> Is he really just faking it? Mmm. And what's Joan Diamond doing? Put her on speaker and act natural. Don't let her know that we're here. It didn't bother you when you were injecting my dome with poison. <laughs> yeah, where were your shaking hands then, huh? You were treating Shelly after she sued me. Do you have any idea who'd want to kill her? You? Yeah, <laughs> case closed, I'm out. <laughs> if Joan killed Shelly, why is she calling around trying to figure out who killed Shelly? Yep, yeah. good point. We think Joan is innocent. She whacked me with a fish, destroyed a beautifully mounted northern pike. I mean, to be fair, it was the wooden outside thing. It was the index finger. You said it was planted. Hell yeah, I think it was planted. And she just called Dr. Ted to ask him if he knew of anyone with motive to kill Shelly. Good, good. Just stay the course. You don't need an old man to sleep. Aw, I feel so bad. It's between Gus and Henry. The self-confidence right now is at an all-time low, right? Um, but I just, I love this, like, whole... In the beginning, Henry was all like, you know, I'm a detective. I know what I'm doing. I've had years of experience. And like just the confidence was through the roof. And then he gets walloped on the head with a bass uh, from probably somebody that he used to want to canoodle with back in the day. So it's like now he's like at an all time low. It was just like that roller coaster of emotion right there. Believe me, when I tell you I'm innocent, hopefully I'll be able to prove it to you soon. Check the pic. It's nice, right? Ooh. Nice Photoshop though. Nice Photoshop. I never should have doubted my gut. Let's go, boys. He was dressed underneath the rope. <laughs> you knew damn well we were gonna come here and give you the rah-rah speech, didn't you? <laughs> Strong sense of it. <laughs> Father knows best. Who is the first person that you look into? <laughs> Joan was our first suspect, but then we looked into Shelly's husband, Brad, but we moved off of him because- I, I can't pay attention to this episode when Gus talks, because it's just, <laughs> just, I'm sorry. I, I can't, I, all right. I gotta pay, I gotta really focus. I'm kind of, uh, I'm all over the place right now with paying attention. Kelly signed a prenup before they got married, which means you wouldn't get any money from divorcing her, but if somebody killed Right, her, cause like prenups are only when you divorce, not when she gets killed. Rat Turner, SPPD, you're gonna need to come with us. Oh shit, is this guy dead? Uh oh, that is one unhappy ending. <laughs> Gus is, <laughs> Gus is too straight faced to even react. So you Jesus. think we're looking for the same killer? Oh, well, makes sense. I mean, Joan kills Shelly because she's suing her. Then the husband figures it out. He confronts her. She kills him, too. Hmm. She's as guilty as Mrs. O'Leary's cow. Who's Mrs. O'Leary? Is she a new suspect? Mr. Fish slapped you harder than I thought. What are you basing this on? Spirits. My gut. <laughs> Great. So I've got ghosts and cellulite. <laughs> Spirits and guts, baby. Name my new sex tape. 
Bismarck, North Dakota. Oh, that's where, uh... I'm just a nice farm girl from Bismarck. Brad and Lisi were both from Bismarck, North Dakota. What? What's the correlation then? What is it the state of North Dakota? Is he responsible? Do you hear me? Yes, but I can't lift my arms until my implants heal. Oh. You're not joking, are you? <laughs> Everyone put your hands down. Yeah, wrong thing to say in a plastic surgery clinic. Do not lie to us. Where is Dr. Diamond? I'm right here. You're under arrest for the murder of Shelly Aaron's in a bright turn. Oh. Uh, Lassie, I'm not so bullish on your bullseye. We're gonna solve this case right now. Sean's right, Carl. Lisi here is our murderer. <gasps> Oh, no! She and Brad were high school sweethearts back in Bismarck where they made a habit of scamming. That's what it Two years later, they come to Santa Barbara and target one of the richest gals in town. Oh, but he actually fell in love with her, though, huh? Then Brad and Lisi skip out of town with all the dough. But there was a wrinkle. Shelly fell, fell in love, love with, with Shelly. What? <laughs> it almost looked like he was gonna break. <laughs> Wait, I gotta see that again. <laughs> Excuse me, Lassie. You tried doing a breakdown with your father. Brad fell for Shelly and agreed to sign a prenup. Thus destroyed. Hey, we're moving our eyebrows. Hey, we're back. We're back at it. In a jealous rage, she kills Shelly and pins it on poor Dr. Joan, to whom I owe a Texas-sized apology. Final twist, Brad got suspicious. So, she kills him, too. Ooh. In the middle of meditation, oh, your Headspace app is just like saying, take in your surroundings, listen to everything. Boom, here's a syringe in your neck. I loved Brad. Yeah, to death. Snap. <laughs> we all came together at the end there, Henry, huh? Excuse me, did you get your work done here? No. Jules <laughs> <laughs> and I are back together again, officially. Woo! She made me work for it, but I came all... Yes, dude. I yeah. got good news. See too. what Honesty does? I got my face back. Check it out. I'm seeing whimsical <laughs> with a touch of constipation. You know that's right. Oh, yeah. Even though I can't express it, I learned my lesson. I <laughs> am beautiful, Sean. I am a beautiful man, and I'm going to... There you go! Yes! The 100% authentic you. And yes, her ex-husband is there. But you know what I realized? Mm -hmm. No matter how it all plays out, Bert and Guster is going to be just fine. Mm -hmm. And you got the earlobes to prove it. What are the utilities here? Oh my gosh. Yes. He's thinking about coming out of retirement again. Yes. Gosh. I'm thinking about hanging a shingle of my own. <laughs> he's very good, you know. Come on, dude. He's got the wits. Thank it's... you very much. All that. These must be from my publisher. You guy to oh, crime shit. fighting for the totally unqualified. I'm reading excerpts at Barnes and Noble now. Nice. Wait, is that a real book? Do I gotta buy that too? I've already invested into the shirt. Might as well keep going all out, right? Well, that guy was a sunny disposition. <laughs> real sweetheart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sean? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, Preacher wants to talk. This is it. Uh-oh. Uh, breakup has begun. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, bye. The breakup cookies. Yes, you <laughs> that beautiful speech about how you were going to be okay. To <laughs> yeah, right. That was before she wanted to break up, though. <laughs> they look like macaroons. Or just cookies, I guess. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sugar will soothe the soul. There you go. Take it all in. Oh, man. Gus, I get it, right? You jumped the gun. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, name me an instance in your life you never ever uh, overthought something, huh? Oh, wait. Other than uh, uh, the, the plot of the episode, that was such a wholesome one. Such a great one because the fact that we bring it out, uh, uh, you know, because there was something that was missing. There was something that was missing with Henry being the liaison, being the, uh, um, uh, the person to you know, provide that experience, that insight, even though obviously not as up and up and sharp as Sean. Sean is like sharp in his own way, but Henry definitely brings something to the game between him and Gus. And just the prospect, the idea of Henry having like a little office or a desk at the psych office is just something that I cannot wait to see. You know, it's just like, I, I've always said in the past, like, I just love those episodes. It's like the father and son dynamic. While Gus and Sean, those two are just a monumental combination. There's something very clever, something very humbling about a father-son duo, father who taught his son how to like pick up on all these like little things. Uh, Sean obviously like pushing back, but then has like grown to, uh, um, I, you know what it is now that I've like, now that I'm talking about it out loud, it's that evolution of their relationship, right? And then from, you know, Sean getting shot, him trying to find him, uh, um, find out where Sean is, and then the whole, uh, I'm gonna be a liaison, his mother being abducted. It's like just all these moments, all these beats 
um, they're they're the most. I think they're the most one of the most uh, complex relationships that have is that has evolved, or one of the most complex relationships that started because of obviously them being family. That as the seven seasons have gone on, seeing that relationship build out is just so beautiful, man. What I said there too, where it's like, uh, I mean, up until the very end, obviously, like Gus and Henry back to back crushing it. Obviously, Gus with that last radio one with uh, what was it, Miranda, uh, Miranda. We are playing park cheesy. All my boys are in uh, long-term healthy relationships-ish. Uh, you know, maybe not so much Gus. I mean, who knows? I'm sure it's just going to be a discussion, uh, right? Of like, I I figured shit out. Maybe uh, like, uh, you're the one that I want. Who, 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 honey? I think there was a, a great lesson to be learned from this episode. That whoever you are, wherever you are, as long as you're confident, healthy, whatever makes, whatever it takes to make you feel great about yourself. That's why I've said it before, plastic surgery, I've done it before, made me feel fantastic. It's the person I am nowadays. Confident, great, grand. But again, if you don't want to get it, don't get it. If you want to get it, get it. Again, I'm just an advocate and just making sure, or I'm just an advocate in whatever you want to do in your life to make you feel like you are you do it. And that's all I have to say about that. But really, at the end of the day, what more can I say about not only my uh, man poop problems, uh, but about this show? I'm still your boy, Zum Joshmo. We are coming up on the, I guess, the finale, the last episode of season seven. Is that the finale, I guess? You guys get where I'm going with it. Anyway, y'all, with that being said, we're going to take off right now. But before we do, I just want to say I love you guys, and I hope you have a great one. Until then, peace.